bam, you push your accelerator pedal and in an instant you're off. The car's going wide open throttle, man. You're booking it. How did that happen? How did you actually get that signal from here down to the throttle? Did you use a cable? Is it cable driven or is it computer drive by wire? Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. It's all about the throttle bodies and how are we going to get that signal down there? Let's start out with the basics, the actual cable driven one. Now a cable driven one uses a throttle position sensor and you can see here it basically does about a half a volt at idle, returns a signal to the computer and then it knows where it's at. The other one, wide open throttles, about 4.5 volts or a little bit higher, you know we're at wide open throttle so we can deliver the fuel but we're still pulling it with the cable. Matter of fact, I'll show you right here, you can see it. There's the throttle position sensor and it's going to be bolted to the other side of the throttle body where we're actually pulling it on the cable. I have an oscilloscope hooked up to it so we can actually watch that throttle position sensor in action. This is pretty cool. So there's the cable. You pull the cable when you slowly pull it. You can see the voltage rising from zero, like we said, all the way up to about 4.5 volts back down to an idle. Well, that's wonderful, but you may have a problem. Bam, there's a little glitch right there. It actually fell out. You have a problem there something going on your car could buck it could hiccup something happening with that signal not good now drive by wire what's going on there well right here you have an accelerator pedal position sensor that's actually in the car you have no direct link to the throttle we're going over here to the throttle actuator control module he's talking to the pcm and then they determine where are you going to put the throttle sounds scary nah there's more fail safe built into it than a cable itself Len, really cool. I got one right here. Watch this. Don't try this at home, but you can see I got it hooked up. I actually give it a little bit of juice. Man, you can see the gearing on the one side, and then you can see that throttle plate open. And I'm talking about, bam, wide open throttle in an instant. Massive amount of technology going on here. How is that technology built into AMS oil? Well, at the end of the day, the same thing really applies to oil because the industry itself is always changing, just like these cars are always changing. So the demands on the motor oil are constantly changing. So we have to be way out in front of it. A new additive comes out, a new base oil comes out. We're constantly looking, we're constantly monitoring the market for changes, uh, for you know, increases in performance, and we have to buy it, build it, and then test it. So we're usually six months to a year out in front of a new product or changes to a current product. We don't build them and then let them sit. They're constantly being worked on. So it's, I would call it more of an evolution. So as the industry and the technology changes, the oil changes along with it because we want to provide that top level protection. Yeah, and you do want that top level protection. There's a ton of technology and science that goes into all the AMS oil products. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself at amsoil.com.